have been trying to purchase this since the beginning of October. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Maxine and if you're returning, hey, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna share some of the things that I pick up during Sephora's holiday event. Um, if you budgeted with me earlier this month, you saw that I made a budget for Sephora and I'm excited to share some of, some of these items today. So to get started, I'm going to start off with tools. I have all the products listed here, but if you are interested in any of these items, check the items in the description box. They will all be listed. So the first thing I'm gonna start with is the brushes. Um, so for all of the Sephora products were 30% off. So I did not waste any time um, getting these things the first day the sale launched. So some of the brushes that I got, I got two regular sizes and two minis. I found that Sephora brushes are really great quality. I've had a brush for a number of years and I just knew that their brushes were great quality. So one of the brushes that I got was Sephora Pro Brush Foundation number 56. If you could see that yeah please excuse my nails um, I didn't do them yet but yes I got a foundation brush um, this is good for medium coverage and it's great for all types of foundations um, I also got a pro brush concealer brush um, I have a brush similar to this um, for foundation and what I like about this brush is that it's supposed to be as close as um, as if you were applying foundation or concealer with your finger so I have the foundation brush version of this and I ended up getting the concealer because I love how the foundation brush works and what I also picked up was the mini brushes so I know these are limited um, edition or collection I picked up the pro brush foundation so this is the 56.6 so yeah so this is the same brush basically but one is a large and one is the mini so this will be good for traveling um, and the other brush that I got was the 70.5 Pro Brush Foundation. I do not have this in the larger size, so I wanted to try this out for um, as a mini to see how I would like it because I feel like I have similar brushes to this um, in the larger size, so I wanted to try out the mini before I invested in a larger size. But either way, happy with these brushes. So next I'm gonna move on. While we focus on face was, or, or the Sephora collection, I picked up their translucent setting powder. I'll show you guys this one. I picked up two actually. So this is the item. I ended up picking two because you guys, I have been trying to purchase this since the beginning of October. And everywhere I went, I was so upset. Everywhere I went, it was sold out. Literally, some places did not even have the um, tester out. They did not have any samples to give out. I was so frustrated and I heard or saw nothing but great reviews on it. So I couldn't wait to get this particular um, get this particular setting powder. So when I did open one, I did try it and I love it. However, I have a mini setting powder that I wanna finish use before I start using this regularly. But so far guys, it's amazing and it's vegan. So it's supposed to be um, clean or healthy. Their, um, their website is promoting a lot of clean products. So this is one of them. And I'm happy I, I got it because I love it so far and I'm happy I picked up two so that if they sold out again I have some to last me quite some time so moving on I did have to rack up on the on some of my primer if you've seen some of my makeup videos you could see that I have been running low on the milk primer look at this so this is the one I currently have so I decided to rack up on this particular product so I got a new size this is my holy grail primer like 
it's a uh, it's actually it's called the hydro grip primer it's so good when you're applying foundation another item that i had to pick up that i ran low on was the kat von d um tattoo liner i picked up the mini in this and i decided to pick up the full size because I was just running low and decided it was worth getting the full size at a discounted rate since they were already having their holiday sale. I picked up the Huda Beauty Bomb Brow Micro Shade Eyeshadow Pencil. So I decided to pick this up um, to try a new eyebrow pencil. I'm going to try this in another video um, when I'm trying new makeup from this um, sale, but um, I'm still trying to find out good eyebrow um, pencils or makeup. It's been really hard for me to find a brand or a pencil that I could stick to. I've tried powders, I've tried pencils, and I'm still trying to figure it out. But so far, let's see how this goes. I've heard great reviews. So moving on, I picked up um, a powder. <laughs> this is the Dior Backstage Face Powder. This is, oh, I don't know if you guys could see it. Yeah, the Backstage Face and Body Powder, no powder. Let me open it. I know I haven't been opening any of, any of these products, but this is the no powder. Um, I've been looking for uh, all face powder. I do have the Sephora one, but I've heard that wearing this looks like you have no powder on. So I'm going to try this in a video and I'll let you, you know guys know and you guys could see how that is. Sorry, my phone started playing. <laughs> um, and speaking of another um, Dior brand, I did pick up the Dior backstage eyeshadow palette now this is the limited edition of the plum neutral and these are some of the colors it came with look at that look at those colors these will be perfect for the holidays so i'm excited to try this out i'll have a video on that as well and then for the last two items that i picked up i have um two eyeshadow palettes. I decided that because they were having this sale, I wanted to take advantage of the sale, and I, but I didn't want to go over it. Um, I picked up the Patrick Ta, which is currently sold out. I picked up the Major Dimension eyeshadow palette. Um, let me open it so you guys can see. So this is the eyeshadow Patrick Ta. And these are some of the colors. Let's see if you guys could see it. There it goes. Ooh. So, okay. So those are the colors. Yeah, so I'm gonna be excited. I can't wait to try this eyeshadow palette. So that is one palette that I picked up. Another eyeshadow palette that I picked up was the Pat McGrath Lab Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey eyeshadow palette. And I tried this at the store and I fell in love with it. And I was a bit hesitant to get it, but I looked at the colors and I couldn't believe how buttery and highly pigmented they were. So I said, you know what, this would be a great investment because not only are the holidays coming up, but there's also events like baby showers, weddings, things like that. And also YouTube. I would love to do so many videos with trying this eyeshadow palette so here are some of the colors that this came with yes please don't judge my nails <laughs> so yeah so those are the beautiful colors and i just can't wait to try it i just fell in love and i just love doing a nice eyeshadow look and blending colors and trying it and i just can't wait to play around with it so that's all i had guys again i was 
you know, I did my budget and I yes, I did go over my budget a little bit when I did purchase these items, but I was able to move things around to accommodate some of these purchases. So let me know in the comments section if you participated in the Sephora sale and some of the items that you're interested in seeing me do a video on. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like to see some of the looks that I'm going to do with some of these products, subscribe to this channel and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.